Let's start with the basics, Prof. How did you arrive at the conclusion that the leopard needed to go? And the Northwest University is a unitary institution of three campuses. And because of this unitary approach we have taken, we are now in the branding process of having a sculpture, an, an artifact, or a symbol in all our campuses that will be unitary, that will be the same. So the Northwest Mafican campus is the only campus that has a remaining unique artifact of its own, which was the leopard in this case. So council now resolved in our previous meeting then that we need to remove this in preparation for a unitary symbol that is going to replace the leopard and other artifacts in campuses that have already been removed. So as a result, the leopard has to, has to go. But we are also aware that anyway, the leopard was a symbol of the homeland before. Yes, in fact, you take me to the next point because you start off with wanting to have a unitary uh, symbol for all your campuses and for your branding. But you also have this other narrative that says part of the other problematic element about this leopard statue is that it harks back to the days of the homeland of Boputatswana. That argument, I saw you um, as, as, uh, stating it emphatically, uh, Prof, on Facebook, but it didn't seem to land so well. Well, our students apparently, you know, when time goes and uh, people forget, I don't know whether it's that uh, historic amnesia or what, but uh, they tend to forget what was the past like. And as a result, they are not even aware that the leopard was a symbol of the homeland. Yes, indeed, it symbolizes strength, it symbolizes all these other things, but it was a very unique symbol of the homeland. When it was placed there, it was with that motive coming from the homeland and placed by the homeland. And... Did you consult with the community that will be affected, the university community, but also uh, various communities around the area of Mahikeng? Because part of my understanding is that, you know, at the point at which the university was being built uh, in those dark old days, um, there were contributions from the community as well. Partly why uh, I believe you have, you've seen the kind of backlash that you have seen. We, we have consulted enough and with the students, the consultation process took place and also with the statutory structure of the university. But of course, when the university was built, there were indeed contributions from the community and the community was building a national university. So as a result, that still remains a national university that must align in terms of the national program. We have a approved strategy for the university that was unitary, and that strategy was widely consulted with the communities and other statutory structures. So what we are just doing is to align the processes with the approved structure, which is unitary. What, what do you lend, Prof, on this debate about whether or not uh, statues should be removed, statues that hark back to South Africa's dark history? Uh, where do you land on that, uh, on the question of whether or not they should be removed or should be kept in place as a constant reminder that, you know, you can't wipe away the history. It did happen. It's part of, what, uh, we, of where we've come from. Uh, and sometimes the preservation thereof actually uh, triggers a conversation uh, that informs where we are and where we are going. Definitely you don't remove statues or any artifacts for destruction. Uh, the Museum Act is very clear on this. We either take it to the museum or we take it to, you know, put it in our archives. Like in this case with our leopard, we have really archived it at the library. We have put this leopard now at the library. Whoever still has sentimental attachments to it and all that can still go by there and take a picture with that leopard. But where it is, it does not symbolize the homeland as it was intended before. It, now, it is just a nice artifact for the university, which has got history that people can still go and take pictures on. Could your tone have been slightly conciliatory, uh, Prof? Um, I mean, I, I, I saw, because you got over a thousand comments, at least in this one Facebook post that I saw, and I don't even know what the situation has been like on the ground in, 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 in interacting with the university community. But could your tone have been slightly uh, conciliatory and sought to take everyone on board instead of talking about, you know, ignorance being bliss and, um, you know, in, in an environment of ignorance, um, you know, 
having knowledge uh, being problematic, not the exact wording of, of your Facebook post, but could you have taken a better uh, position and a better tone in winning over those who are skeptical? That still remains a fact. If we do not inform the current generation of the history and the origin of these uh, artifacts, they are going to continue, just like we saw, by the way, with the roads must fall. So many of our students, so many of the black students and white students used to take pictures by the roads. And some of them were doing it innocently, not knowing that there is also an offensive side of it to some. So if we do not educate our students and the new generations about this, they will continue in it far into the generation where they will never remember. And therefore, it will just be done out of innocence. And But if you know, if you continue to do it, it or you don't want to know, then it's ignorance. Lastly then, Prof, so as far as you are concerned as a university, all the T's have been crossed and all the I's dotted and the horses bolted on this issue. If you want the statue, go to the library. It will not be displayed prominently on the Mahigeng campus and there's no going back on this decision. Indeed, when council takes a resolution, a decision, it checks that all processes have been followed and by the way, in the structures of council, there are all members that will ensure that uh, there is uh, proper procedures were, were followed. All right, I've got to thank you. Professor Den Khwadi, the, uh, the vice chancellor of the University of the Northwest. Yeah, so a heated, heated debate that ensued there about harking back to the days of Lucas Mangope and Batubame uh, in the Northwest. Um, and he insists that actually this symbol had to go. They're not taking it away altogether and destroying it. They're moving it from the central point outside the Great Hall and taking it closer to the library. So if you still want to see the leopard, you will continue to see it uh, on the uh, campus in Mahikeng. But the debate, I can tell you now, will continue to rage on that particular one.